Hey, hey, hey everyone. My name is Joy Lawson. I am the founder of The Joy of Styling, a fashion image consulting company based here in the DMV, where we focused on styling fashion events and bring fashion into the community. Also making sure that we are empowering and educating through fashion and history. I just want to thank DC Now Events for allowing me to come on the live earlier and to talk about in-home styling. Unfortunately, technology did its thing and we ended up losing the live, but I'm here here to make sure that you get all the gems so if you missed the live you are able to access it all right here within this video so thank you for tuning in so we ended up talking about in-home styling and I wanted to make sure that we talked about in-home styling during COVID because I understand that yes COVID may be coming to an end or that's what people may think but we still need to be careful and I know we've been spending a lot of time within our homes and our houses and just around everyone who is in our homes but we want to make sure that you are wearing clothes that are stylish and making sure that you're comfortable and confident and waking up every single day and getting dressed. This is really important because I feel like a lot of times when we are in our houses, you know, we want to be extra cozy and that's perfectly fine. There's things at leisure, you can get jogger sets. There's so many different things that you can wear around the house that's still fashionable, but it's important for you to get up and get dressed. There's a couple of reasons why. So one of them being, it speaks to your confidence. I know I'm not the only one that feels when I get up in the morning and I get dressed, even with being in the house and walking over to my laptop and logging on, I feel as though I can accomplish something, even if that's me running to the store for a little bit or going through and jotting down my to-do list and knocking everything out, whatever it may be, it makes it a lot easier for me to feel confident in knowing I can get it done because I'm actually dressed like it's a regular day. What is a regular day now? I know <laughs> the normal days have pretty much uh, kind of seem non-existent now because clearly we wear masks all the time. There's social distancing. You can't really go anywhere without it being a certain limit of people. But if there's anything that we can keep normal, it's getting dressed. So let's make sure that we are continuing to do that. The other reason this is important is because it allows you to make sure that you still can fit your clothes. I know we sit here and joke around the quarantine 15 or 10 pounds, whatever it may be, even if it's just five. There can be an adjustment within your clothes because the less we move around, clearly the more we're inactive. And that means we may, you know, add on a little extra weight. Not saying that's a bad thing, but we want to make sure that the clothes that we have, we can still fit in the only way for you to find out is if you wear the clothes. So that is why it's very important to make sure that you are continuing to get up and get dressed every single day because this helps add to not just your confidence, but your mindset, your mental health, and really making sure and ensuring that your clothes in your closet still fit you. This leads me to my next point, evaluating your style. It's important to evaluate your style because as we know, a lot can happen in a year. It makes it so much easier for us to know where we are. Just as if we were to go in, you know, we're growing within our career fields or in our businesses, we're not the same as we were a year ago, five years ago. And that can be the same for our style. So it's really important for us to make sure that we're evaluating that and that we are reflecting what our clothes are in our closet. We don't wanna walk in somewhere and it doesn't represent us. Because the first time we do walk into a room, everybody's looking at us. They're looking at our clothes. That's the first thing that people see. So you want to make sure that it represents who you are now. And there's no better time than while we are in our houses to do all of this because it allows downtime. You're not pressured in knowing where you need to go and you are rushing around to find things and you're just throwing it on because you have it. You can actually take the time and be like, you know what? This did me great memories and it's so important that you know I had this memory but it's time for this to go perfectly normal so with that being said you want to make sure you're asking questions like can I still fit this does this represent where I am now or where I want to be are these colors fitting to me now? This, is this material really good for me? There's a lot of questions that are very personal to you, but you wanna make sure that it reflects you. Like personally for me, a couple years ago, I was very into heels all the time. I just wanted to wear heels, 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 heels. And when people be like, you have any sneakers? I'll be like, sneakers, 
<laughs> what are those? But it was really because I truly was in my girly girl stage. I just wanted to wear heels coming from modeling. That's just all I really knew. And sneakers to me were vans. Crazy, right? Um, and now you ask me and I'm like, I want some more Air Maxes. Like, I want to get some more J's. Like, I need to continue to have my closet in its versatile. I said, like, I really just wanted to be all heels. And now I'm, like, looking into sneakers. And it's really helped me grow not only just as a person but as a stylist because it is very important for us to understand that, yes, we have particular areas that we prefer, but we want to make sure that we're pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone. I can't just speak that on you, and I'm not doing the same thing. So I have fully embraced it. I am, like, accepting of any like sneakers coming out like oh like this looks cute like I need some J's with this and I have a whole list in my head now as before I had it with heels so that is just an example of what it means to grow and evolve other examples could be maybe you were super into peplum tops and you outgrew that stage now you're on to oversized blouses or maybe you're on to button down shirts and there's so many different things that can change within your style but they shift just a little bit to be where you are and that is where we want to get you so that you're feeling confident and comfortable that you can get up and get dressed every single day but most importantly so when we do open back up outside we are able to be comfortable in the clothes that we have on and don't feel as though we've changed so much within this year that we don't re represent the clothes that we have on so that is one of the main main things that i love to say because evaluating your style is super important and a lot of times with my clients i'll always ask them if they have any style inspiration like a go-to with my clients is always like oh i want to be like tracy ellis ross because i mean granted she's a very versatile pop of color she does dark she does everything but then you have other people who are like i'm a tiana taylor cool like i know exactly what you're doing and Style inspiration is also important because it's kind of just like you make a mood board at the beginning of the year. Where do you see your style growing this year? Where do you want to see it grow? And that's one of the things we do within our styling program with our, with our clients is we have my style guides where we'll start somewhere at where you are now to where you want to be and you continuously watch your style evolve and it's really important for not just me as a stylist in terms of educating but for the client to understand that yes you were paying me to be a stylist but it is important for you to also understand what i'm saying i am not just here to speak it and do it for you because i don't live with you i'm not going to be putting the clothes on you all the time so you need to know what goes with what and this is really important with you knowing who your style is because it speaks for you so that leads me to my next step, which is shop your closet. Once you evaluate your style, it is really important for us to shop your closet. And I'm going to set the presence here. When you are in a store, you walk in and you see hangers everywhere. You see clothes everywhere. You see things are just unorganized. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to walk out. I don't want any parts of it. Like I'm not here for it. I just want to go shop somewhere else that's more organized and that I can just be relaxed and do what I need to do. That's the same thing that needs to happen within your closet. And when I say shop your closet, you really want to make your closet an experience because this, uh, this is where you come to put your pieces together. This is where you come to pick out your outfits for those big days. If it's for a new job, if it's for a promotion, if it's for an engagement, if it, like whatever it may be, wedding, birthday, family reunion when we get back to them, it's important for you to feel like a sense of this is my space when you enter your closet that all starts with organization and in that organization the first thing that you can start with if you follow us on our instagram page you know what i'm going to say it comes to hangers you want to make sure that your hangers are all organized this is so 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 important because it can make like something looks so sloppy come together in like 10 seconds and trust me you will see the difference take a picture of the before and the after all you have to do is get cohesive hangers all you need is cohesive hangers 
The hangers can be the same color. They could be the same material. Just make sure that they are all the same. When they are all the same, it just makes everything flow together even more. Even if you don't have your closet organized by the type of clothing, hangers will do it for you. It just brings something, a sense of relief, and just makes it so much better. And please, please, please don't say I have wire hangers because wire hangers are not it whatsoever and that is a word from Whitley Gilbert so I really really do suggest that you start with getting hangers you can purchase this on Amazon you can go to Target you can go anywhere and just get a set of different hangers clearly base that off of how many items you have within your closet and you can start from there so that's number one within shopping your closet number two would be organizing your clothes so as I was just saying you have different groups. You can organize it by tops, blouses, sweaters, or you can organize it um, in terms of bottoms with skirts, with leggings, with jumpsuits, with dresses. There's different ways for you to organize your closet and it really just kind of fits to what you are. So I personally like having shirts at the beginning because it allows me to see what top I want first and then I move on to my bottoms. My dresses are in a completely different section because that's a whole entire outfit and it just needs to be close to my jewelry and my shoes. Whereas your, um, let's say sweaters can be right next to like leather leggings or etc. And it can vary by season. But it's really important for you to have some sense of category and organization, just as if you were to go into a store. You want to make sure that you are treating your clothes like you value them. You've already paid the price. Don't just throw it in your closet. Don't just shove it anywhere. You want it to be as if you are shopping. So when you are going in in the morning or if you're someone that picks out your clothes the night before, you are ensuring a great experience within your store. So that would be number two. Number three would be color coding. You want to make sure that when you are color coding the, the clothing items, that it's by the pieces. Some people like doing it from light to dark or dark to light. As for me, I'm a light to dark. This is the retail person in me because I used to be a uh, visual merchandiser. And it is super important for us to really get the idea of bringing it all together. So when we can see how it looks, all the clothes in a color coordination. That way, if you want to say, I want to wear purple today, you know exactly where purple is. And it makes it easier with pairing if you want to do color blocking. You already know maybe you want to do a purple and a green. Or maybe you want to end up doing a, a purple and a yellow. There is so many ways that you can go. But all you have to do is pull that piece down and pair it right next to the piece that you want to have it with. It makes life easier. And this also allows another level of organization with having all of your pieces in these categories already because then you just have to move to the colors you already have the categories and bada boom bada bang you have an outfit if you want to take it another level on top of the colors again you can do it from say if you have all your tops there maybe you have spaghetti straps you can start from a spaghetti strap and work your way up to long long sleeve clothes again that's a retail thing <laughs> it just adds more organization um some people do categorize it with again the tops the blouses the pants by color and then somebody just some people just do them all together it's really whatever your preference is um if you tend to wear a lot of pants put that towards the front of your closet if you tend to wear a lot of long sleeves put that towards the front of your closet it's whatever your preference is and as your store you know what the best part is you get to pick what it looks like so you don't have to wait for anybody else or see how you should do it it varies to the person so again for me i have all my blouses at the front because i like to see what tops i'm going to go with and then i go to bottoms but when you do this it allows you to let you know that some 
colors you may have a lot in. A lot of people typically have neutral colors when it comes to blacks and it comes to grays. They'll have a lot of them. And that's normal because we lean to that. And it's okay, but it'll also let you know if you need to get more colors. So here's a little tip, another gem. You can add bright colors. We are entering into the spring, summer 2021 trend time. This is the season that we're in. So there are five top, somebody can technically say maybe seven top trend colors right now for this season. I'm going to give you three. So the first one is bubblegum pink. Then the second one is tennis ball green. And the third one is tangerine. And these colors are not typically in your closet. And that's a good thing because when you are doing color coding within your closet, it allows you to see what you have too much of and too less of. So when you are going shopping, you know not to get more black. Let me get tangerine or let me get another purple. Let me get green. Let me get a different shade of pink. This all allows you to see what you have in your closet. And there's no better way to organize than to see before you shop. Because one, that means you are not spending as much money. And two, that means you're not going to get repeat items. We do not want repeat items because that means it's a waste of space in your closet and we don't want that. So Make sure that you are utilizing shopping through your closet and breaking down all the tips that I just said. Last but not least, our fourth tip is spring cleaning. You hear me talk about this a lot. When it comes to spring cleaning, the time is now. Just as if you clean your house, just as if you clean and reorganize the pantries and you swap out maybe new bedding and wipe down floors, you need to do the same with your closet. You have to do a spring clean because it makes you, it, it's necessary, let's just say that. It's, it is necessary for you to do this because it sets the tone for the season that you're gonna have. Especially leaving winter and going to spring, you're, moving from a lot of thick clothes to a lot of thinner clothes. So thick clothes take up more space. This means you have more availability within your closet. Some people fold their sweaters, some people hang their sweaters, whatever it may be. Sweaters are bulky and I have a lot of sweaters, so I know. <laughs> you wanna make sure that you are removing those items because you no longer need them. Spring is here, do the transition. This helps so you do not have to fight through where my sweater is at, where's my spring stuff at, and just throwing things all around you've already taken care of it. You have removed everything that is winter clothing from your closet. But before you actually do that, it's really important for you to analyze your closet because at this point in time, it saves you time for the next season. You always wanna start thinking ahead. And I'll add this other tip, excuse me, when you are shopping, you want to make sure that you are shopping for the opposite season. So as we move into spring, and maybe say that you notice you didn't have enough maybe turtlenecks to, to pair with different things. This is important because you can save money on it by shopping for it now because it is going to be on sale because it's not in season. And when we say in season and we say different trends, all of these terms are terms that are used within the fashion industry to really reiterate what's happening on the runways within fashion weeks and what top editors of magazines are saying and speaking into culture in pop culture in what street fashion is doing so this is just something that the industry really pushes and that's what like the colors and as we move into the different seasons you'll see stores particularly aiming and doing the same things because that's the trend that's what everyone is aiming towards and they they want to have the sales for it so czar for example is a store that continuously puts things out in february right now <laughs> um to beat the rush of p anybody that's like oh let me get some last minute winter stuff like the time is gone for that in store that does not mean that you can't get it online that's where you get the 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 deals and the discounts it's all online so they switch over the store and during that time this allows everyone to see what they prefer so maybe people are picking up like I, I know I went on the website recently and they had this amazing bubblegum pink trend color um, blazer dress. This allows them to see 
how many they actually need to bring into the store what is necessary for them to continue to restock on because this is what people are purchasing all the time and when we end up doing this we're giving them an algorithm just like instagram has an algorithm of what they should end up doing and purchasing more of so trends colors fashion week all of that speaks to what we see in our closets or what we end up getting within our closets and it's really important again for us to shop during off season because you save money so as we move into the spring you will see a lot of um, patterns colors bright colors specifically silk um chiffon you, you will see so many different materials that you didn't see during the winter because now you're moving into this new season this happens all the time i do not suggest people just do spring cleanses i suggest that you do seasonal cleanses within your closet because it allows you to see what you don't wear anymore so when you are doing this and it's the end of the winter if there's a sweater that you have not worn and i won't even say quote unquote during COVID times because maybe it was too thick for you to wear in the house or wear anywhere like to the grocery store or visiting someone while social distancing it wasn't necessary for you to actually wear it then I'll exclude that but if you haven't worn it in two years and it's just been sitting there and really taking up space you need to get rid of it that is one of the major things that the closet cleanse allows you to do is analyze what are you wearing and the questions you want to ask are when's the last time I wore this can I still fit this? Is this something that represents my style? If all those answers are no, then probably want to get rid of it. And when you do get rid of this, you want to break it down into different categories where you either um, donate it, you end up giving it um, or selling it, or it may have some issues with thread or something, or it's just been worn too much. And you trash it it is okay to do piles and it is okay to have different categories for it i know majority of the time when we have pieces within our closet it stems from holding on to sentimental value what clothes do not have sentimental value majority of them do but you have to be realistic within yourself and have you outgrown that 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 memory or is it is it something that you can continue to keep do you have a picture of it is it something that is you know easy to access just in a, in a different way so you want to make sure that you are cleansing your closet and you're not hoarding things because let's be real we still have tags within our closet that we've never worn that have been sitting there for three years and if there's a way for you to make money on that why not because clearly you're not wearing it so it's just wasting money again you are a store if a store was to have pieces that did not sell they will get rid of them. That is the exact way that we need to treat our closet. So when you are going through the spring cleanse, that is what you start with. And then once you get all, rid of all of the winter clothes, you will move right over to spring. And spring is necessary because it, one, just speaks to the new season, bright colors again, and you're gonna keep these same clothes around for the summertime. And I can say probably fall as well because you can layer during that time. So, you, these clothes will be around for a longer period of time whereas bulky winter clothes there's only a certain period of time that you can actually wear that before you get extremely hot and uncomfortable and itchy so we do not want that to happen but again if you want any more information on how to do a spring cleanse you can definitely head over to the t joy of styling website where you are able to access ebooks that have closet analysis on there and you're it's just an easy way for you to really cleanse your closet and it's a step-by-step -step guide of making that happen i did want to say another tip that i typically tell my clients and that is the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule is super, super important because 80% of your closet needs to be basics. So when you're throwing things out and you're noticing that maybe a lot of it is the same, you really want to have pieces that are easy for you to be versatile with. As we were speaking about versatility earlier, it caters to everything because everybody wants to save money 
And nobody wants to feel as though they're wearing the same thing all the time. The best way to have that is to incorporate the 80-20 rule. And a lot of people, of course, hear that when it comes to relationships. But if it's the same way here, you want to have a majority of it being basic so that you can juggle different pieces and nobody knows. And then the 20%, it makes it stand out so much that people are drawn to it, but they don't know that you just wore those pants maybe last week, but just in a different way. It's all about versatility. And this is the reason why in home styling, within your closet, you have to try on your clothes. You have to analyze where you are within your style. You have to shop your closet and you have to do a closet cleanse because this speaks to the whole entire process of in-home styling. So I know that was kind of like a jam-packed course right there and I didn't want to give too much because I want you to come to me. So if you loved everything that you heard, please head over to our business page, The Joy of Styling, where you can learn more about styling tips, styling gems, but most importantly, you can click the link in hit us with a discovery call so that you can have your style evolution start and begin and we can grow your closet and make sure that everything that you need is in there. You don't have too many blacks. You have your tangerines, your pink and your tennis ball green. So this will be super, super helpful for you. Thank you, thank you again for DC Now Events for allowing me to have this Tuesday takeover. Um, I do just wanna say before the end of the month, we are still having our Bossish Black Women Business Owner Directory. This directory is super, super important to me because it highlights black women and um, black women are the core. <laughs> we support so, so, so many people and we do not get the same support that's needed. So this directory is filled with over 50 businesses. If you followed me before, you know that Bossish uh, Black Business Market was something that we did last year and I wanted to do something differently this year. And that is this directory catering to the people who continuously cater, cater to me and that is Black women. So it's all about supporting and the best part of it all you can't get it unless you donate to a black woman-owned nonprofit organization called the Uniquely You Summit based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So we are raising funds for scholarships for young girls who will become undoubtedly strong black women. And we want to make sure that we are continuing to pour into them and give the legacy that they need and that they deserve. So if you are interested in donating, you can head over to either my personal link in my in my page, in my page, on my page, joy.tiff. Tiffany, Tiffany with an I, not a Y. Or you can head over to the Joy of Styling page where you'll pretty much hear everything um, or see everything that you need in there and click the link and donate. Any, any donation is welcomed. We appreciate it so, so, so much. And um, we just thank you for even thinking about it. And also with you getting directory, it's something that you are giving on a continuous basis not just during Black History Month, not just Women History Month, but all year round. You are supporting a business and you have access to them. And that is 50, 50, 50 plus businesses. So I'm super excited about that. We're halfway through the month and I just want to continue to be able to give to the Uniquely You Summit. Uh, I'm trying to sit here and think to make sure I covered everything. <laughs> but thank you again, um, DC Now Events, for having me as, as this takeover. And um, if you do not also, follow, make sure that you follow uh, the Style and Living Color podcast. I am the host where we talk about being black in fashion and sharing black stories because they need to be heard and making sure that we are giving the flowers to those that are living in those that have passed, but making sure that we are sharing their stories uh, to our listeners. So thank you um, and continue to stay connected with us so that we can stay connected with you and share the love of fashion and educating and empowering women through fashion and history. So until next time, see ya.